morning. It's Nancy today. How's everybody? It's orange shirt day for the Truth and Reconciliation. Look at these lovely colors. So today I have a few projects on hand to do. Hey, you know what? I can see this. I can see this um, from the house. Where is the house from here? Up there somewhere. Okay, let's take a look and see how everything is looking. Little arch here. I left my sweatshirt down here and the tripod. So this grass, as soon as the sun dries it off, is going up there where the where are these things, this one laying down here, where they're sticking out, that's where I need it. Up at the edge of the ladder is light coming in there. Not going to be able to really get that one very well. Hmm. Nettles are coming back again. I cut them. Actually, I didn't take them all in yet. Big mistake. There's Pole Island. Remember the video of Pole Island? grass here. It's pretty wet. It's because the beavers have backed everything up quite a ways. The property line is right there, I believe. There's the Every Which Way Bridge underwater. I have to redo that other bridge. I think this little alder needs to come down so I can get around this. And it looks like I never did quite finish clearing it out in front of that chair because I was harvesting grass, which was my primary goal. This is a maple, swamp maple. Looks like a gross beak. Huh. Have to fix that chair. One 
once upon a time there was a swing here. Long ago, many years ago. So we'll bring this with us. And we're gonna do some other things. growing. Hey, how'd there get to be a cup down here? Huh. Maybe it blew in. Like these were cut by a beaver. Is that right? Yep. It's a beaver slice. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's a different slice. That tree didn't make it. Another arch to go to the stream here. needs a chair. doesn't have any more here that I can pull down to finish the arch with. Started a new path that way. There's a big pile of grass. Forgot about that one. You've come a long way, baby, to get where you've got to today. Might you need that sometime. Here we are at the stream. Well, my plan is today, I have a few things on the plan. I'm going to make videos and then I'm going to go to town and upload them on the last day of the month use up my data and I'm going to cut comfrey leaves and drop them on the garden beds. I'm going to dig up two comfrey plants down by the moat and I'm going to replant them and I'm going to cut willow and stick it in the ground and make a circle for another dome and I'm going to um, cut forsythia 
and plant them, stick them into the ground too. I hope they take, I hope it's not too late. So September 30th, so we may have two more months of no snow and it may, it may go up and down above and below freezing, below at night and above during the day. It might, things might still grow. The grass is definitely growing. Look at this grass. I've cut it, cut it twice, but it's four inches tall now or something again. Just the other day I cut it. I would like to, but not today. I have enough today. I think I should deal with the things that are easiest first, and so I don't wreck my back. Look, there goes one leaf. Why is that leaf, the one leaf, moving so much? It's hanging just by a tiny thread. Nothing else is moving. So this is as far as I got with cutting my pathway. This will be used for making a campfire here later on in the, in the winter. I like having campfires there. I usually see animals. Now you know the deer are asleep for six weeks before hunting season, before the breeding season. So they could be asleep in there. That's a good place for deer. Surprised to hear all the birds today. I did cut this out. And I trimmed up that in there too. But I don't think I have chairs here now. And this is... This has been tread on down there. I think the deer come there and they go around right through there. This is a nice little room, isn't it? All the leaves, the branches are growing up from it, which is really great because they will keep it from breaking. I didn't attach that. Let's see where this goes. Nope, it's not cut yet. That's a beautiful tamarack. Okay, so we'll go back the other way. Now I did cut behind here. This is another little archway. The chairs got removed this summer. So I've cut this out, and now I can see what I've got stored in here. Willow, willow, cedar bark, rushes, lots of rushes. But the path does not go from here anywhere. I didn't cut it yet. Oh, that was my spare mittens. I put them in there. Maybe that's a good place for them. I usually write in my journal, which is in there, and draw in the sketchbook. I have some extra clothes there in case I fall in the stream. I have water, towels, and change of clothes. So I don't think this goes anywhere. No. Not yet. But there's a there's a an archway back there I have to go through.
deer tracks. So this is another pathway I cut. All this grass went on the teepee. Except this doesn't look like I picked it up. So what is all this about? Yeah, this is the this is the dome. But what's that back there then? That must just be an archway. This was the um, aromatherapy dome. So, Wisdom is a constellation prize for messing up. So this one was built out of alders and it lasted two or three years. All the Christmas trees fell in on it. Now this one is also alders. It's lasted longer because the weight wasn't on it. But I, I, I put a whole heap of grass on this area last year and it caved it in. But it looks like the structure is still there. So all this needs to be removed and I think I'll put that in the teepee on the ground. kind of falling in. Oh, there's my basket in there. Huh. All right, so now the willow that I'm going to harvest and plant, I was thinking maybe I should plant willow around the outside edge of this dome just put stakes in all the way around and maybe put them in make make another circle in there but this is pretty thick grass so it might not work somebody's been digging here that'd be a good place to put one there's a, a grapevine that is growing up here I thought I would let it grow over the top of it all There are two tamarack trees which are growing side by side. So I have put stuff in between to help them separate. Now these willow are, are doing very nicely. That's just sort of a interesting design. This willow is making a nice wall here. All that grew. It kept growing and growing and putting out new shoots. Because every time I'd bend it, it would put out a new shoot. It's a cattail mattress, a willow swing, I mean a willow Star. I didn't make this, did I? I think somebody else made this. Now some of these need to be cut out. The ones with the brown on them. Those are in need of removal. Look at all the bees here in the asters. This is motherwort. I don't really need motherwort in here. Oh no, it's not. It's um, it's it's uh, catnip. No wait, this part's catnip. That part is motherwort back there, I think. And that's there is some. Um, this is some obedience plant. The Gallardia worked. 
and this one. All right, let's come over here. So now, what's happened here? I have a basket back there, and a hat, and a jar. Boy, a lot of stuff gets left, lost in my huts, you know? Look at how well these are growing. These are one, two, three, four, five, six willow. I stuck them in the ground and they are happy. And here is one, two, three, four, five on this side. And they look very happy too. Sun has been on this, but it's not dry enough to work with yet, is it? There's too much of it right there. It needs to, needs to go up there. Okay, I'm not going to do that yet. My back hurts. I'll wait till my medication kicks in and then I'll do it. Tamaracks are growing nicely. How many are there? Maybe it's just the five. So it's looking pretty dark in here. Let's see if it lights up at all when I come in. Oh look, it is lighting up a bit. It's a thatching. So now, those sticks are sticking out on these lines here. That's where it needs more. The whole top needs a lot. Do I have another one I can push through there? This one. I'll stick this through the top. If I can get up that high. I don't know about that. that. So on the floor I'm thinking of putting pottery clay and straw. So this is pretty solid here. There's nothing coming in through here but up through there maybe so. And definitely up through there. Huh. Yeah, that's right over this. Okay, let's see where that came out. Yeah, up above that one. Okay, that's good. So I'll get up there and do that. You know, maybe I should, maybe I should do it now. So I should probably make these long. Oops. Um,
Okay. So. That ought to do it. Okay, I'm going to turn this off and start a new one. Bye.